my previous video I had like a whole glob of lipstick in the corner and hopefully um I can edit that junk out because it was looking a hot mess <laughs> So what's going on y'all? First we're going to get started with laying down this base. I just used the P. Louise base in number one and a little bit of my um, number five concealer from Juvia's Place. So I saw B. Marie do this technique with going straight in with the black eyeshadow and I really do like the effect that it gives. I'm going to continue to do this and see like how um, it ends up working out for me with other looks too because I really did like the way my makeup came out when I did this. And another thing that I think I've been doing wrong is um, not having enough base down so I tried to put a lot more base when I did this look. So I did get the matte book from Crayon Case lately and I will say I love this palette y'all like I've been sleep for real. Well I ain't gonna say I've been sleep because I just haven't bought a lot of makeup lately but um up until now I did get some new palettes recently and I really do like this one. So anywho I'm putting that blue that dark blue eyeshadow like directly I'm going to overlap the black and a little bit of my concealer with that color and I'm just going to try to blend out the black with the blue. So y'all, I've been like so out of breath lately with wearing these masks and everything. My breathing is so heavy. So if you hear me breathing like a dragon, y'all, please forgive me. Trying to do this voice over girl. Don't mind me talking y'all shoot. I was doing live. I was like really feeling myself this night. I was doing live y'all on Facebook and I was making a video at the same time. I'm so excited to be filming again, y'all. I done been going through it, like, <laughs> just I've been all over the place. I'm trying to be more consistent, though. I really, really am. So now I'm taking these two green shades and this, like, really pretty blue color in the um, MacBook palette. And I'm putting that the same way that I did the blue eyeshadow on top of the black. So I'm putting like half, I'm putting my brush between the blue and the concealer. So I'm just piling these colors on top of each other. And then I'm gonna go back and forth with blending them until I get the right um, blend to my liking. This color is so pretty, like, girl, y'all gotta try this. Make sure everything is smooth and seamless because it is 2021, soon to be 2022. And what we're not gonna do is walk around with unblended eyeshadow. No, we're not. 
So take your notes and make sure that when you when you think you're done blending, blend that shit again, sis. Like I'm telling you. Blending, you won't go wrong when you blend your colors. So I'm taking more of that first blue shade and I'm just bringing it up a little bit higher because when we cut this crease, you're going to want to make sure that everything is sharp and dark at the cut. And you want to make sure that you can see all the colors that you laid down. Because like when you cut your crease, you know you have to um, take off a lot of the work that you just laid down. So you got to make sure that you can blend your colors up high enough so that when you cut it, you can still see your colors at the top like this right here. So going into my Sephora Pro palette, but first I did go back into that yellow shade in the crayon case. Um, Lord, the yellow shade in the MacBook, and I'm going to put that down first, and which is so pretty and vibrant. Now I'm going into the Sephora palette and I'm using the um, the peach, the orange. It's like a peach color, a tangerine color, and then the two pink shades, I put those down. So first here, I'm just laying those colors on. Okay. Adding the last color here. And I'm just kind of placing them first. But then I go back like right here and I'm just gonna take each color and put like, I'm gonna take each color that I put down and then blend it over the next. Y'all, this video going fast. So now I'm working on the bottom of my eyes and I'm using some press, I mean, I'm using some loose pigments um, from Glamier Cosmetics. Glamier, Glamier, Tomato, Tomato. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I kind of um, been playing in these pigments. Um, I kind of been playing in these pigments recently, and I really do like them. I'm still getting used to working with them, though. So now I'm taking the blue shade, and I'm just kind of placing those on top of that base I laid down. And then here I'm going back into um, another loose pigment. And also, I used a little bit of that uh, Sephora editorial palette and kind of just blending these colors down on the bottom. Y'all don't mind these faces I be making. This don't be serious. So I like to use this little paintbrush to lay my foundation on, just to kind of spread it out. But I don't blend it with that. Okay, so we're going to pack us on a little bit of rudge, you know. I don't really like a whole lot of um, blush. And y'all, when I tell y'all, this um, Juvia's Place blush palette is not no joke. Girl, look at all that. Like, y'all know I was tripping with all this red blush. So I'm going to try to take my powder brush and erase some of that because we want to tone that back down. Yes, because it was pretty much giving me geisha vibes. Like, that's not what I was about. So here, I thought that I could take some brown out of that same palette and kind of contour with it a little bit to make my contour darker. Girl, look at this. That is every bit of red. Girl, chocolate well. Look at that. Yes, sis. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. Uh-uh. We're going to take that foundation brush and tone that shit down. You hear me? Okay. There we go. Okay. So now in that same palette, this is the blush palette, y'all. The same palette, I'm going to take those two gold shades and I'm going to highlight my cheeks with that. 
and then this right here is um white sand and two other colors i can't call the, num the name of the colors right now from the abh palette the highlight palette we're gonna get into these butter biscuits baby these new lips i'm gonna line them things real nice and sexy like okay and i believe this is hot cocoa from nyx Okay, now this is Honey Bunny from uh, Ruby Kisses. So I'm gonna put that on first, which now this looks really nice on its own, but y'all know I have to layer my lipstick. That was really pretty. That's a nice nude. I might do that next time. So now I'm taking my Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number 19. I'm just going to dab a little bit on my bottom lip. And then I'm going to blend that out. Which, looking at it now, next time I can use a little bit less. But this still turned out really pretty. Take some plumping lip gloss. I just use it because of the color. It's really pretty. I did tell you the truth. I don't think this does anything to plump your lips at all whatsoever, girl. But that doe foot is huge. And then last, I'm just going to take my Oyster Girl lipstick and, I mean, lip gloss and put that on. And we're going to be done, y'all. This look turned out so pretty. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this look. This video, I... I really did enjoy this like I know I say that all the time but I really do be enjoying doing my makeup so I did end up stacking two lashes on top of each other and I really like it because I wanted something really dramatic with this eye look I felt like it really did it justice but y'all I'm gonna get ready and take a bunch of pictures I'm gonna make some posts on my social media and I really hope you guys tune in to see what I come up with next and as always, tell your friends to become my friends so we can all be friends.